to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to do a DIY do-it-yourself um, gift basket. You could give it as a birthday present, you could give it for being a guest at a house. So we're going to make chocolate marshmallows. So you need a bag of marshmallows, you need a bag of this um, dark chocolate or you could use any chocolate you, you like but I use dark chocolate and we're gonna use the little sprinkles for color. We're gonna, have, we have blue ones. We have red ones, it's up to you. Um, we need foil paper. You need the little sticks to put on the, on the marshmallows. And then you need some, some paper for decoration, to de decorate your little basket. And here I bought this one at Walmart for 197. So this is where we're gonna put our make our basket with, and we're gonna get a little piece of this foam and put it inside so we could put all the little sticks in there and same with this one. This one I got it at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. And we got a little bear to decorate our little basket from the 99 cents or Dollar Tree. And that's what we need. So the first thing we do is we open this pack and we start putting the marshmallows we're gonna start putting the marshmallows in the little sticks so we could put dunk them into the chocolate. So you just grab and stick one marshmallow and put them on the side. On top, I have a piece of foil paper and that's where I put every, um, every little stick that already has a marshmallow. So see, you put the marshmallow and then you go to the next one. You don't have to put it all the way in because when you put it into the chocolate, the melted chocolate is it could come off so just in the middle and there you go you start making your little marshmallow popsicles and this is the way we're gonna do our our own gift basket for a party or a birthday present if you don't have a lot of money this it's not gonna cost you a lot to make this the little sticks are like a dollar 25 at Walmart um, this one's for 99 cents at Walmart. This we got at a dollar tree for a dollar. This was 129 at Walmart. You get at the 99 cents. And the marshmallows were like 289, I think it was the whole bag. But you're not gonna even need the whole bag, but if you use the whole bag, that's perfectly fine. It's an inexpensive, really beautiful way of making your own. DIY, do it yourself, basket, and it's not gonna cost you a whole lot of money. And you make it out of the kindness of your heart and that's what counts. You could add peanuts on top of the chocolate. You could add um, graham ham crackers. You break it and you put it like s'mores after you dunk it into the chocolate. Um, but just remember, some people are allergic to peanuts. So I keep it on the safe side. I just use dark chocolate and add sprinkles to it because sprinkles is sugar um there's not a lot of people allergic to you know i keep it on the safe side you could always add coconut on on top of your chocolate peanuts almonds ham crackers you could um break some um, oreo cookies and put oreo cookie on top it's the sky is the limit it's up to you you just use your imagination so see we already did 25 of the marshmallow popsicles for our little basket we're gonna hot glue gun we're gonna use a hot glue gun and put some glue on the bottom of this tissue paper and we're gonna put it on the bottom of our glass basket that we're gonna do for the decoration of our gift basket so then you just put it inside and let it glue in there. Once it's glue inside, all the way in the bottom, there it is. Then you put your little piece of foam and you put some glue, hot glue, and then you add it in there so you could put your little popsicles in there. You see, it's a young, beautiful little basket. You just lift the tissue paper. And 
there's one basket and this is the second one. See, I'm doing two different colors. Um, it's all up to you. You could use any color you want. So we hot glue gun the bottom and we're gonna glue it to the bottom of our glass jar. And now that it's hot and it's already, see it's in there, all the way in there. It's already glued to the bottom. Now we're just gonna add our foam. And this is the only time you're gonna need the hot glue gun. Same thing, you know, you buy your glue at the 99 cents, this at the 99, or the Dollar Tree, whatever is closest to you. And here you go, you have the beginning of two beautiful little baskets that are gonna hold our chocolate bonbons. And you could always add a little teddy bear on them. Chocolate is ready and we're gonna start making our we're gonna start making our marshmallows for our basket. So here we have our marshmallow and we just dunk it in the hot chocolate. Okay. And then you put them like this. You could put wax paper or you could put um you could put wax paper or you could put foil paper for your lollipops. And here we go, and another one. See? And we cover with chocolate. And we're gonna open our sprinkles. We'll open anything. It's great. There we go. So before your chocolate melts, you could always pick it up and throw sprinkles on it. And then it's going to dry and it's going to have the sprinkles. And here we're opening the color sprinkles. So this one's your lollipops, your marshmallow lollipops. You could always individually wrap them or just have a full basket wrap plastic that you could wrap the whole basket. It's up to you what you think it's easier for you. Um, we have the individual wraps. I got them at the 99 cents. It comes with 40 of them, so you just need one pack. Or if you wanna wrap the whole basket, this they sell this at the 99 cents too, and you get a two, a two pack for 99 cents, so pretty much 50 cents a bag. And once you're done, you could wrap your gift bags, basket. So we're gonna keep on doing our chocolate covered marshmallows. And we're going to sprinkle some different color sprinkles on it to give it a nice, beautiful decoration. And we will see you once we're done. See, you just, your hot chocolate, and you put them to dry. See, hot chocolate, you just twist it a little bit to take off the excess chocolate, and then you put it to dry. And it doesn't take long. Before you know it, you're done with your 25 or 30 or 50, depending. Let's see, put them to dry. And there you go. And then you could sprinkle sprinkles on them like this. Or you could do the other way around. See, so you can see they can have sprinkles on the front. I'm doing it on top of a foil paper, so that way I could always pick up the excess sprinkles, the extra sprinkles, or the blue ones too. Our marshmallows are already dry, so this is how we can make our basket. Now you get your marshmallows, you turn them over, and you put them in. 
different color marshmallow. We have blue. And this is how we put in our basket together. All the chocolates in here. Chocolate covered marshmallows. And there we go. We have one more here. One for the middle. And here it is, our beautiful little basket for us going into a party, taking it as a gift basket or giving it as a present. So once you're done putting all your chocolates on it, you could cover your basket with plastic. This is a cover that they sell at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cents. And here it goes. We put it and wrap it. It's a good. So this is our basket, now we're going to tie some gifts. Some gift ribbon on it. And there it is. Our beautiful little gift basket. Inexpensive to make. You could give it as a gift, or you could take it as a part to a party. And if you want to add a little trim, you could put a little. Let's tie this little. I'm gonna put a little. Ball on it. And you could tie a little bear to it too. That's a beautiful gift to your basket. And there you go. An inexpensive way to give somebody some gift basket. Please pull up marshmallow cover chocolates with different kinds of sprinkles and there you go this is a gift basket inexpensive what do you think what do you think that's my gift basket idea and it's an inexpensive gift just it takes time, a little, little bit of time, 
para 